Last year, I discovered the chaotic fun of the Overcooked series. Cooperative puzzle is where you're confronted with the most elaborate culinary challenges you ever did see. Relationships were tested. Communication skills too. All for the shared glory of food perfection. But we made it. We survived. Surely that'll be the last time we're tested to that extent, right? Mankind has been moving and lifting objects since the dawn of time. Welcome new employees to the Smooth Moves family. This is your first step to becoming a certified furniture, arrangement, and relocation technician. Oh no, this is going to be so much worse, isn't it? You're probably asking yourself, gee, I don't know anything about moving furniture. Well, you're in luck. This training module will provide all the necessary information you need to be a safe and productive member of the Smooth Moves family. I once offered to help a friend move. It seemed to be the thoroughly decent thing to do. Never again. The sore muscles, the movie truck Tetris, the stairs. Yeah, in hindsight, this, my friends, was a job for the professionals. And moving out just so happens to be about those noble bastards who do what we don't want to. Some games are feature packed. Others just need one solid hook to build around. The primary objective here probably ain't all that hard to guess. It's right there in the name. In this game, you'll be moving furniture, and lots of it, all within a designated time frame. Simple on paper, a little more complicated in execution. Unwieldy objects, a ticking clock, reliance on others, that's a perfect storm of banks right there. More on that later, but first, you've got to choose an avatar from a delightful cast of weirdos. Every last one psyched at the prospect of lifting all the heavy furniture. Customizable, sure, but you'll still absolutely confuse who's who in the ensuing chaos. And there will be chaos. So much chaos. After completing mandatory training, you're given the keys to your very own moving truck. The destruction derby of a map screen foreshadows what's to come. That only intensifies when you reach your destination. An inevitable free-for-all ensues as you scramble to transport everything that's not nailed down. It's pretty hilarious. Smashing windows, throwing furniture, and general havoc abounds in the noble pursuit of getting the job done fast. It almost feels like you're robbing the place. The vibe is both silly and joyful. What your characters lack in efficiency, they more than make up for an enthusiasm. Moving out's brought to life through a simple but effective art direction. One that's full of color, charm, and 90s personality. It's a world of CRT TVs, old school consoles, and Ninja Turtle references. Wearing a love of arcade classics on its sleeve, with not so subtle shout outs to the greats of the era. From Frogger to Pac Man, and even video game pioneer Atari, the window smashing and suburban setting here conjures some definite Paperboy vibes too. Games known for simple mechanics executed creatively. Moving out aspires to do this too. Perhaps a little less successfully though. Picking up objects, throwing them about, and jumping is just about the extent of gameplay here. The varied locale is challenged through escalating hazards. A workplace health and safety cautionary tale come to life. Uncooperative ghosts in haunted houses. Traffic when your truck's unhelpfully parked across the road. And then there's the movie's greatest foe. The dreaded rake. Hilarious as it is dangerous. Every level contains secondary objectives that you won't know about your first time through. There's fun in trying to predict what they'll be. You'll do many an outlandish thing in your pursuit. Even when spelled out clearly, these objectives add considerable replay value. They're incentive to press on and not just reach for the restart button when on a trajectory with a not so great time. Outside of your main objectives, you'll unlock arcade trials and memory missions that add variety. Oh man, let me tell you friend, moving a couch on the narrowest of platforms, genuinely humbling stuff. And not an experience I want to repeat anytime soon. The game has a good sense of humour though, with endearing dialogue and moments of silliness. Did someone say slapping? It's never fun when furniture gets stuck in door frames or won't fit in the van. Often these issues come down to a lack of planning or communication. You can't really be mad at that. 
you'll soon develop strategies to make your life a whole lot easier, like big items first. Mastering the art of moving truck Tetris is one of those important life lessons up there with learning how to shave. Making assumptions that your co-op buddy knows exactly what you're attempting to do is always a mistake. The sooner that lesson is learnt, the better you'll perform and the more fun you'll have. You've got to talk it out, get on the same page and resist any inexplicable urges to go rogue. It happens to the best of us. There were times when a game plan was decided only to not be implemented just moments later. A little communication goes a long way. You'll see the results when contrasting where you started versus where you end up. Calling out furniture names, working in formation as a well-oiled machine, it's pretty satisfying stuff. Moving out can be played with up to four pals. The objectives are tailored to the group number. You have less furniture to move in single player and can maneuver the heavy stuff on your own. In co-op, you'll definitely need assistance with the heavy lifting. And playing cooperatively is the game at its best. The game is easier in single player, but the flaws are magnified. The repetition, the lack of precision that might have been disguised as a communication issue when moving with pals. Co-op facilitates hanging out. You'll bond over triumphs and laugh off shared mishaps that you might have otherwise gotten riled up at if playing by yourself. And then of course, there are those times you get annoyed at one another, just like in Overcooked. The frustration comes when you're doing everything right and the game's just not cooperating. I feel the devs might have overestimated the fun of moving large objects through tight spaces. I found myself shouting at my poor television, along the lines of, just having the ability to tilt the bed frames would have made all the difference. Maybe these quirks with the physics are by design to add to the general sense of chaos, but it rarely fit my definition of fun. Your mileage, as always, may vary. Even when working as intended, the game often captures the real-life stress of moving, which is not ideal. And some levels are just a chore. I'm looking at you, farm. The movement, the sound, the sensory overload. One of the few levels I didn't go back to 100%. Ghosts are very annoying too, having no real way to neutralize them in the long term. Oh man, how I longed for a proton pack from Ghostbusters. It would have totally gelled with the 80s vibe too. But as a whole, the good outweighs the bad, and moving out lays a solid foundation for a more polished up sequel, which I genuinely would like to see. Okay, that's enough. That was Mosey Through, I'm Dan Clark, and thanks for watching. Don't forget to mosey through to the like and subscribe buttons, friends.